My name is Mr. Walker and I am the Wiley ISD tuba instructor. That was a performance of the McMillan Junior High and Davis Intermediate tuba audition music. What we're going to do today is just kind of break that down, give you some tips and tricks on how to perform this to the best of your abilities. The other thing is um, if you'd like extra help, um, you may enroll in uh, private lessons. We're doing them online right now with FaceTime or Skype. And uh, when school starts back, we'll do them at your school. And that is www.demarcuswalker.com forward slash lessons. And we can get you going. All right. So first thing is the key signature is E flat. So you must know your E flat major scale as strong as possible. Second nature. So make sure you play the E flat major scale and work out on that. Um, where it's like again second nature before even jumping into this um, once that is nice and strong point two is we want to look at uh, the time signature which is four four so we have uh, four quarter notes per measure and along with uh, the time signature it's going to help us with uh, figuring out the rhythm so we want to write in the rhythms point two is right in the rhythms so what we're going to do is do what I call rhythmic isolation. We're only going to extract and focus on rhythms and then the next step three will be notes. All right, so um, in writing in these rhythms, uh, literally like for example, we look at measure 10, you know, above that A flat 16th note, you write one and then T above the G, then T above the F, T above the E flat, right, etc. You're going to write literally the whole thing in. Once you get that going, we're going to turn our metronome on 60 so the other thing is here's a practice bpm uh for you what i played was a performance speed it says moderato so that was at about 108 is what i played 108 but if you need to go slower go slower what you want to do is be uh i always say it's better to be slow and clean than fast and dirty so if you're going fast to the point to where it sounds uh the the, the quality's compromised then slow it down and get good quality but Somewhere around 100, 108 is a good place for the performance speed, but for practice, we're gonna do 60 BPM. All right, so you'll turn your med on 60. All right, then the next thing is uh, you're gonna literally count the entire etude at 60. So you'll kick that thing down to 60, because you wanna, again, we're eliminate rhythm as a problem. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, etc. The whole thing. Um, preferably, you might practice this going uh, bottom line first, then second line, and then first line, because it, it gets progressively difficult each line. So you know, I like to get the hard part out of the way at the beginning. So if you can go ahead and get the line three down, which is measures 10, 11, and 12, then it's downhill from there. Measure uh, two, uh, line two is not quite as difficult, and line one is the easiest of, of all of them. So, um, so you'll count everything with the Met. We talked about that. We talked about getting the scale going, E flat scale. Um, and we talked about when you perform it. Eventually, when we work up your tempo, whatever you your goal is a hundred, but stop it wherever you can play clean. Um, next step is note isolation. So once you have literally counted the whole thing. Uh, then you want to just try the notes only. So again, your met is going to be at 60. And like, here's what I mean by note isolation. I'm going to go to line three here. Here's line three. This is obviously the fastest uh, measure, uh, rhythms, sorry. And, and so in this line, just to make sure you're playing the right partials, um, you want to play them each in half notes. So for example, instead of playing the real rhythm, which is... You might play everything as a half note and look at your tuner. So note isolation is look at the tuner and look at the note on the music and look at the tuner to see if you're hitting the right partial. Um, for example, when we're trying to play this A flat, a common note that you guys might accidentally play is E flat. 
because it's also on the same partial. So if you're not careful, you'll be trying to play this and you won't get the right notes out because you're too low. Or you might overshoot the A flat and end up playing a C, right? And then you still won't get the right notes out because you're a partial too high. So the only way to accomplish this is to use the tuner um, so it can help you. Or like I said, if we're in lessons, I can one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, wait a minute. That's not the right partial. All right. So, but here's what you would do. Half notes for those notes. So you make sure you're hitting the right ones. Etc. Right, you get the idea. You know, some notes you may, you may need to go even slower, or that you know, because I'm what I'm doing there is I'm looking at the note and checking the tuner, looking at the note, checking the tuner, because you want to make sure you learn it on the right partial. Um, now, um, after we have done all the notes only, now I just did that one measure. You're gonna do the whole thing like that, uh, especially any measures you have trouble with. Um, you want to do that m measure like this. Figure out the rhythms. Figure out the notes. Um, after we've done our key signature, our, which is the E flat scale, we talked about the time signature, the rhythm breakdown, and now we've talked about the note isolation. Oh, that the other thing with the note isolation is once you get good at going slow at half notes, start making that, uh, breaking that down quicker. So that I did halves in measure ten, going back to measure ten. Now I'm going to turn that into quarters. So I'm doing all the notes just as quarters, and but every note in that measure is actually faster than that. So now, now let's going to go uh, move it up to eighth notes. Right? And then eventually you can do the real rhythm. So let me do the real rhythms. Let me count it first. Go back to rhythm isolation. One, two, three, two, three, two, three, four. Okay, I know my rhythms now. And then maybe try it with the notes. Um, so... Once you've done that, uh, I guess we can jump into the next idea is to start trying to break it down in terms of measure by measure or beat by beat or note by note. Uh, some of these measures have a lot of information in them, a lot of notes. So if you need to break it down. So let's just stay with measure 10, for example. This is a measure that you probably would want to do uh, note by note depending on the student. But we'll go note by note because that's the, e the smallest breakdown. So we're at 60. So we've already counted this measure. We've already, uh, with rhythm isolation, we've already did note isolation. We did the half notes, the quarter notes, right? And now we're going to do the um, a, a breakdown. So we're going to do beat by beat. Sorry, note by note. So here's note by note. You play, we're going to play every rhythm like it's supposed to be, but we're going to add on one at a time. So... And here's the other thing, three times no mistakes. I want you guys to really remember that, three times no mistakes. This is a little uh, nugget that we'll go over and, and a standard that we have in, in lessons. What, what that is, is if we get something right once out of three tries, is that closer to luckiness or skillfulness? That's closer to luckiness, right, okay? You can't depend on something if you got it right once out of five or 10 or whatever tries. If you get it three out of three, the chances of you having skill in that area are higher. So that's what we do there is we're going to do that today with this. So I'm going to play the first note. That's measure 10 again. Now that was obviously easy. I just played one note. Now we're going to do the two notes. So it's one T. One T. So that's I'm adding the G. By the way, don't look at my fingers, guys. I play a C tuba. For you, that's first valve and, and G, one and two. I mean, get my fingers out of the shot. That's one, two. Dum. A C tuba is different fingerings. We'll talk about that later, if, you know, over lessons. But so, dum, just those two. All right, that was three times. And now we're going to go add the next note, which is the F, the T. So, one T T. Again, we're always keeping the standard of three times no mistakes. All right, then we're moving to the next one, which is the ta. All right, so we have the ta in there, and we're now we're going to add the downbeat the, of two. Now, if 
you need more time in going through each rep, you can put more time. Now, if you get to the third try, and you mess up, like, oh, that was the third try. Yes, you need to restart it. And you're like, Mr. Walker, are you serious? I was on the third one. Success and sacrifice are connected. We all want to be successful at these etudes. That means you're going to have to sacrifice some time, some energy, and that's going to really pay off if you do that. It's just going to get clean. All right. So you'll keep doing that process until you finish that measure. I, I highly recommend note by note in the last line, especially measures 10 and measure 13. Those are the fastest notes, uh, measures. For measure uh, five, that line, line two, that one has a lot of eighth notes. So you may try, uh, let's try beat by beat. So we're gonna go to measure five, uh, so let's go to measure six. So this is where you have the E flat piano going down to the B flat. And so we're gonna try uh, beat by beat here. So we're going to go one tay. So this is not just doing one at a time, we're doing whatever's in that whole beat. So that's E flat, B flat. Again, three times. Now we're gonna to go to the next beat, which is two tay, which is the C and the D. All right, once you get the two beats down, put them together. So now I'm gonna go one tay, two tay. All right, three times. All right, and then you do the next measure. Three tay, sorry, three tay. It goes, I sang the wrong note, three tay. And you, so you do that until you finish that measure. Because those are eighth notes, they're a little bit slower. I think you can get away with uh, beat by beat as opposed to note by note. Now, if you wanna do note by note, guys, do it. Do whatever helps you get stronger. All right, uh, and then for the la the top line, line one, I recommend measure by measure bec uh, because they're mostly all quarter notes. Uh, so once you've done your rhythm, uh, your E flat scale, which is step one, and you've done your rhythm isolation, counting it, you've done your uh, note isolation, and now you're here at point four where we're doing measure by measure. Try that whole thing and see what happens. All right, I got that whole measure, measure one. I'm gonna do it two more times. This is also a place where we may add, talk about vibrato. Vibrato is a little nice subtlety you can add on your half notes. Uh, if you have longer notes, you maybe can put a little sauce on it with that vibrato. So that's that's kind of extra credit. If you feel like that's a little tough, just play it regular. You play it straight, you'll be okay. But vibrato is basically where you're kind of moving your embouchure a little bit. And it makes a pretty uh, sound. All right, so you'll do the next measure. Right, I'm just going measure by measure now. Once I've gotten each of that, sorry, measure two, three times, no mistakes. Once I get that three times, no mistakes, then we're gonna combine the measures, measure one and measure two. Right, etc. cetera. All right, so, um, and what was there, any other thoughts? So, and same thing with the bottom line, we said we did, we did beat by beat, well, we did note by note first. You wanna eventually move things to beat by beat. I should, I should've said that earlier too. So say when we were going measure 10, we we went one by one, but then you want to eventually go beat by beat, you know, and measure by measure, and then try the next measure. What I've learned is most many times students try to do too much at one time, and you over uh, load yourself with information, and then you frustrate yourself, and then you get frustrated, then you just stop practicing because it gets hard so if you do these steps again let's review we said learn the e-flat scale that's going to help with getting finger issues more out of the way before you even play this make sure e-flat scale is second nature 
That means you're not fumbling around with the fingers if you, you playing it clean. All right, then you want to get the rhythms, write all of the rhythms in, count with the met. All right, and you want to get that uh, uh, without stuttering as well. Be able to count the entire thing, all three lines. And I, I recommend going from bottom to top once you, uh, you know, start with line three because that's the most difficult. All right, and once we get all the rhythms counted, then you just try the notes, okay? We turn on the met 60 and we try half notes every measure. Go to try to make sure all your notes are matching. The tuner should say E flat when you play E flat, all right? It should say A flat when you play, et cetera. Um, and then measure by measure, beat by beat, or, or uh, note by note. All right, the last step is record yourself, guys. That's going to help you tremendously. Uh, you, everyone pretty much has a phone or access to some type of device that can record. So get that out and record uh, what you're doing and judge what you're doing because oftentimes it's hard to hear what we sound like while we're playing. So go ahead and record it. Listen back and see if you're lining up in time, if you're hitting the right notes, if you're doing the dynamics, if you're doing the articulations. Some things are slurred in here, some things are tongued. Again, I'm Mr. Walker, Wiley ISD, tuba instructor, and I hope you've had some something in here that can help you grow stronger for your audition. I wish you all well. Again, if you need to get signed up for lessons, that's demarcusw at gmail.com. If you go to Demarcus Walker, D-E-M-A-R-C-U-S-W-A-L-K-E-R.com, forward slash lessons, you can find a lot more information about uh, the program. All right, guys, and your band directors also have my information, so you can reach out to them and they can get us connected also. Good luck, and we'll see you later.